What's going on everybody? In today's video, we have a treat for you because we're covering the five best neighborhoods in Bowling Green, and we're doing it right now. Welcome to Central Kentucky Living. I'm Val Hardesty, local real estate agent in the Central and South Central Kentucky area. Welcome to our channel. I am really excited today to cover these five neighborhoods. Now, I know the video was titled The Best Neighborhoods, but I cherry picked these for other reasons than just being the best. There's many other neighborhoods in the central and south central areas of Kentucky including Bowling Green where we have the prettiest neighborhoods around so these are just some I cherry-picked because they have some unique features that I feel like are a little bit um, maybe maybe stand out a little bit among the rest so are they the best I don't know that's up to each and every individual's perspective um, but there are many reasons to love these five neighborhoods. Number one is Deer Meadow. This neighborhood is conveniently located right off Cumberland Trace Road, which is very close to I-65. So it's got a nice convenient location to jumping right on the highway and getting anywhere you need to be very quickly. It's also very close to restaurants, gas stations, things to do. It is right in the heart of town and very convenient. This neighborhood's known for its charming Kentucky fencing right as you enter the entrance of the subdivision. Homeowners tend to keep their properties well-maintained in this area, and this subdivision sits right behind a popular Mexican restaurant called El Mazlatan. I, forgive me if I've butchered the name, we call it El Maz around here. So it's very convenient to El Maz if you're prone to loving Mexican too much. Maybe this subdivision might not be for you as it can be maybe a little too tempting to go there too often at times. This community offers larger lots, a small HOA fee. Near I-65, there's also a back road you can take if you're taking your kids to school or going over to the Alvaton area, and that is called Old Scottsville Road. I mean, beautiful drive with lots of twisty, curvy, windy roads with beautiful trees hanging over. It's absolutely gorgeous, especially in the fall. This subdivision has no outlet, so that can be a pro. Only really residents come into the community and there's only one way back out. So it is a lower traffic community. There's a strong sense of family community in this subdivision. And I've even seen a Kona ice truck drive by back in there. You know, like in the old days, the old ice cream trucks with the music going by. I've seen it drive by in this community. So if that's something that's appealing to you, this adorable, charming neighborhood might be for you. In the last year, homes in Deer Meadow sold between 314,000 and 376,000. Number two is Traditions. Known for its mix of single family homes and townhouses, this neighborhood is designed to cater to many different lifestyle preferences. Located right off Lover's Lane in the central part of Bowling Green, this community sits in between many different nice apartment complexes, but these are like luxury apartments. They're really nice, including an apartment community across the street called The Hub. If you've never seen it, look it up. Lots of things to love about The Hub. It even has a steakhouse right across the street called Tony's, which I haven't been to yet because it's new, but I hear it's really good. You'll also find this is really conveniently located to the Lover's Lane Soccer Complex. It's a great place to walk your dog, or just go for a stroll in the evenings. It's right off Lover's Lane, right across the street from Traditions. This is also a busier area of town where there's lots of medical facilities, doctor's offices, dental offices, um, so that may not appeal to you, um, but it does have a little bit of an urban in-town feel. Great access to I-65, right off Cemetery Road. In Traditions, you're gonna find well-maintained, beautiful properties gorgeous architecture, and a strong sense of community because it's got a clubhouse, tennis courts, a pool, charming gazebos, and a gorgeous landscaped strip up the middle that resembles something out of a Hallmark Christmas movie. <laughs> this community is absolutely gorgeous and picturesque, especially in the fall and the summer when things are just blooming and full of color. You're gonna love the look and feel of this community. In the last six months in Traditions, homes sold between the prices of 300,000 and 470,000. Some things you may not like about this community that might be considered a con is they do have smaller lots. They have smaller yards. Some people might love this about the urban in-town feel, but some people don't love that when you pull into your garage, a lot of times in these homes, um, you're pulling into a back alley and pulling in behind your home. 
There's so many things to love about traditions, especially if you visit in, at Christmas time. You're just gonna pull in feeling like you stepped right into a Hallmark movie. Number three, similar to traditions, is a community called Ivan Downs. This community is located right next to Jody Richards Elementary School, right off Elrod Road in the South Warren area of Bowling Green. There's many other subdivisions nearby, but it's also very near to a lot of cornfields in the area, so it does have a very rural and country feel to it close by. Similar to traditions, this community offers very beautiful and unique architecture. It does also have alleyways where you can pull in behind your property, um, but the differences can be that in this community, you have much larger lots and larger yards, so the alleyways are also larger too. Another difference can be where traditions feels a little more urban and a little more in town. Ivan Downs feels like a little more suburban and like you're out in the country a little bit. In Ivan Downs in the last year, homes sold between the prices of $420,000 to $580,000. Coming in at number four, Cumberland Ridge. Cumberland Ridge is located right off Cumberland Trace Road, which is so convenient to I-65 and all the things that that area offers. You're gonna love coming in the entrance of this subdivision. It's gorgeous. And throughout the seasons, I noticed that this subdivision decorates their entrance really beautifully. Especially in the fall, they decorate it with lots of pumpkins and corn stalks. It's absolutely gorgeous. Couple things to really love and point out about this gorgeous neighborhood is there are sidewalks, mature trees, which a lot of people love around here. Gorgeous, classy, modern styles of homes with tons of variety in this neighborhood. If you're looking for neighborhoods that aren't cookie cutter, these are the neighborhoods to be looking in. In the last year, homes that sold in Cumberland Ridge sold between the prices of $522,000 up to $650,000. And last but certainly not least, these are in no particular order, but coming in at number five is Fairview Farm. Known for its gorgeous drive through the many cornfields of Plano, this subdivision is set apart in its own quiet country serene setting. This neighborhood offers very big lots and it's very convenient to the little town of Plano, very close to Plano Elementary School. And there is a convenience store nearby, Dollar General, a gas station, and then you're just a hop, skip, and a jump to the main area of the east side of Bowling Green, which would be about 10 minute drive, 12 minute drive to like the Greenwood Mall area. So even though it seems a little further out, it's really only a 10 to 12 minute drive to town. One thing I notice when I drive through this community is the neighbors will wave to you as you drive by. Super friendly community. And I love that the streets are wide and they're perfect for like walking your dog or taking a walk with your kids or riding your bike. In the last year, houses that sold in this community sold between $504,000 and $729,000. Those are some of what we think are the best five communities in the Bowling Green area. If you're looking to move to this area, feel free to reach out to us. Our information's always in the link below. Thank you guys for watching and hope you have a good day.